Hey guys, welcome back. Well, I recently did a video on alternate states and uh, people really liked it. I thought we would do something a little more complicated with alternate states. So for example, let's say that you have your regular, well, this is my default state. I have country here, year, month, whatever. And I have my alternate state two here, alternate state one. Now I'm comparing countries, right? So I could choose one country here, then I could go here and choose another country and another one here great now i'm comparing three different this is the default state and in the default state i have several other fields for example now i'm only selecting 2023 here and the month as february but now i can't really do the comparison because in my state two and state one i don't have month and year of course now i could go back here i could say put in my month and year in state two and make those selections exactly like my default state but what if we could do it easier that is to automatically sync all the selections here, that is the year and month and stuff, directly into your states. Do you know how to do that? Well, let's check it out. So first we're gonna say, let's apply the state one first, that is sum of sales amount for my state. Say, we're gonna open and close the curly braces. The field is year and the way you say it is, you put a dollar, the year is equal to dollar, double colon, and the field year. Now I want to add another one, so I just put a comma, just like a set expression, right? And the month in this case is equal to also default state, so I put the default state as dollar, double colon, and the field. So in this field, in this case, again, it is month. Click on apply, let's go here, let's add the same thing to our state two. That is, I go here, here, state two, open, close, angle brackets. Here I say where the field year is equal to whatever is in my default state. So it's dollar, double colon, and my field. I want to add another one. That is, month is also is equal to whatever is in default state. Bring that in as well for the month. Good. Apply. Now let's see if it works. So now if I select a country, Australia, and let's say 2023 here, and the month is Jan, the sales is 165. Nothing has changed here, right? 165K. But now when I select Australia here, I've only selected country. I haven't selected year, I haven't selected month, but automatically, because year and month has been selected in the default state, it has been applied here. Great, let's see for state two as well. And we have exactly the same amount in all three because the two alternate states derives the selections for year and month directly from here. Great, now what if we take this away? Well, now you get overall sales for all years, all months. And since there's no selection here, there is no year and month applied. So you get overall sales, which is again, 10.5 here, 10.5 here, and 10.5 here. Helpful, right? Now I have this formulas in the cheat sheet. You have all the formulas here, directly written, super easy, copy paste. Check out the link for that below. And um, if you really wanna become a pro, check out the masterclass. People are absolutely loving it. Please leave a like, super appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one, peace.